Hi guys, Being Girl 29 here, and today I want to talk about something that's very, very important. Um, I see a lot of vegans out there that are very judgmental and very hard on other vegans, or other people in general, actually. If they don't eat what you eat and believe what you believe, you really slam them hard. Like Nick Avocado, for instance. You know, everybody's calling him crybaby and all these awful names. And how about fully raw Christina? Just because she wore something that you wouldn't wear, you got her and said she was a fake, that they're fake vegans. She's a fake vegan, that she needs to be more ethical. Well, the simple fact of the matter is, is who are you to judge? For a simple fact, all of you, every single one of you, do something that's unethical as being a vegan every single day. And the reason I'm saying this is because guess what? When you sit there and say, well, this person should die, that is not being a vegan. That is not being ethical vegan. You know, you say it's about the animals. Well, you know what? You're an animal. Face it. We might have a different kind of a mind and, and rationality and everything else than other animals, but we're still animals and we should care about every living creature. Isn't that the very definition of being a vegan? Is caring about other living creatures? That means you too. Everyone. You know, Nick is a great young man. I, I absolutely enjoy enjoy him. Now, I don't like the simple fact that he sits and eats so much at a mukbang or anything else. But you know what? He's authentic. He's putting out what he feels is necessary for his life. He's not going out and being unethical. Unethical is something that a lot of people do that run their mouths about how horrible someone is and putting them down eating an egg my word that is not unethical i'm sorry i don't feel it is yes i'm vegan but people are taking this way too hard one there's chickens that are all over central america right now that are laying everywhere if they don't pick up the eggs, where it's going to happen? Yes, he did say that he did buy them, but he bought them in humane fashion. So, if he wants to eat an egg, who cares? Is he going to eat the flesh of an animal? I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't see him actually doing it. If he does any, if he decides that that's what he wants to do, I support him. Not for the simple fact that I agree with it. It's because it's his personal choice to do so. Fully raw Christina. Hey, honey. That's my husband. I just walked in. I can't put him on camera because he'll go freaky on I me. Don't and... like cameras. No, he doesn't like cameras. I'm the behind the scene guy. Yeah, he's 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 the guy that does my editing and and stuff. And he's got a lot of videos to to put on for for me. And I hope that y'all subscribe down below. Um to get to see them and let me get back on talk topic um fully raw christina she was wearing these sh beautiful shoes even though they were made out of baby calves they were still they were cute i wouldn't even have known that they were non-vegan but how many people actually know what is in their wardrobe and what it's made of that's that's ridiculous. She didn't know. I mean, and then when she got called out for those shoes, she went in her closet and she found a few other things. Does that make her an unethical vegan or a fake vegan? No. Not at all. I don't think so. Because the the impact that was made was very little compared to what other people do. And isn't it the very definition is to cause less harm. As little harm as possible. Well, honestly, I don't see her causing harm by wearing the shoes. Because she got the message out there. About being vegan. About being ethical. So, 
yeah, it was a tragic thing that she had those poor things on her feet. But in the reality of it, it brought a movement. It, it, it brought conversation to the movement. We have more conversation now. People are knowing that, that they should look and and find out where their products come from. Hurrah, Christina. Thank you. And when you found out that they were made of leather, you made a what's in my closet video. Hurrah for you. You brought you took a bad situation that happened in your life and you turned it around. We need more people like you to do the same thing. Now, there's another thing I'm going to talk about that irritates the living daylights out of me. And vegans, all y'all need to listen up. Y'all say that y'all love animals and insects and everything else like that. Well, we have a crisis in America. Well, around the world for that matter. But especially here in America with our bee situation. Okay. I eat honey. I'm going to say it. I'm a vegan. I eat honey. And the reason I eat honey is because I need to support our bees. If you don't buy honey, beekeepers ain't going to give a crap about them. They're not going to make any money off of them. And then no one's going to care about the bees. And then they're going to go extinct. I have friends that are beekeepers and they told me if people stop buying honey, there's no reason for them to, to sustain the bees. Isn't that sad? So if you really care about, you know, the ethics of animals, please buy the honey. They don't burn, ethical beekeepers don't burn their hives. That's a myth. They told me, I mean, I wish that I could go and add, I mean, they're very camera shy. I'm just going to say it. They're very camera shy. I wish I could have them tell you the ethical way of beekeeping. Because they can't burn them and expect them to go out and do their job. A queen only has so many larvae that turn into bees. They can't burn them. They have to have they have to have a a, um, a family, or they don't survive. And we need to take that into consideration. We need bees to pollinate all of our citrus, all of our fruits and vegetables. And everything else. We need bees to survive. And if we need the bees. The bees need us too. We need to support the bees. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of slack. And a lot of people saying. Oh it's unethical. You shouldn't eat that. It's it's you know. Well you know what. Honey has nothing to do with animal protein. It doesn't hurt them in any way. Bears. Dogs, other omnivores, and, and even vegan animals themselves, animals that are plant-based, will eat honey. And honey is actually good for you. Honey doesn't rot. Honey can last thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And it also has medic medicinal purposes. You know that a person that has a tablespoon of honey a day um, actually has less chance of getting sick, like with a cold or flu or anything like that. And it is an, 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 a natural antiseptic. I didn't know that. That's something that I found out by talking to my beekeeper friend. There's a lot of things that honey is good for that people should be aware of. And it doesn't hurt the bees. He says, I can't take 
all the honey away from the bees because they need to eat. But I also know that I have to take some honey away because they won't go out and pollinate. And that's what they need to do. They need to go out and pollinate. That's the main objective for my hives is for them to go pollinate. Well, what happens when they get so much honey? They don't go out and pollinate. They don't do a job. And they, we need that job. They're getting paid. You know, they're getting paid. They got these ha these these nice habitats that they make for them. And these, I'm telling you, these new hives are totally cool. They don't even have to disturb the bees to get the honey anymore. All they do is put a put a jar up underneath there or a jug up underneath there. It's really really cool, by the way. And they turn this little tap thing, and guess what? The honey comes out on its own. And they only tap them to a certain degree. Because they're saying, you know, um, wild wild bees that go in and, 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 and put hives and everything else. And all of a sudden they're in walls of, of people's homes or businesses and things like that. And they're seeing this stuff and it's like, oh my God. And there's so much freaking honey and honeycomb. And it's like, wow. You know, they're... And and what they do is when they get the when they get them out, they eradicate the bees. They kill the bees. They don't relocate the bees. Very sl very slim number of um of hives are relocated. Isn't that sad? They burn them. That's when they burn them. When they get in and are causing structural damage to people's homes and things like that, instead of rehoming the bees. They actually burn them. They kill them. I have a problem with that. That's unethical to me. You know, very few places around here that are um, exterminators or whatever. And you don't find ethical remove, removal services, which I'm calling people out on this. You know, if, if you want a good job and a, as a sustainable job, why don't you become a professional trapper um, and relocate the bees and the birds and the bats and every other critter and creature that find its way into, you know, people's homes. Say ethical treatment of animals and you'll make a fortune. So please support the bees and buy honey. But make sure when you buy the honey that you are getting it from ethical beekeepers. And there is a list of them on the on the um on websites. They there's thousands and thousands across our nation. Please, 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 please support the bees. And I'm not saying this because I want y'all to eat anything that you're not supposed to eat or, or anything or put things in your body that you're not supposed to put in your body. I'm saying it because if you don't take action, our bees aren't going to have a chance. I love bees. They're so adorable. Have you ever seen a little bumblebee? Look, go put it into your, your Google search engine and look it up. Look how gorgeous they are. Why wouldn't anybody want them? Even the little little wasps and things like that they're cute as all get out let's support their lives by honey but make sure it's ethical that's all so Nick I'm going to tell you I support whatever health choice you need to make to make yourself healthy fully raw Christina thank you even though you accidentally wore something that you wouldn't have normally have wore, you actually brought conversation to the movement. I personally like that. You young people are the new faces of veganism. And as an older vegan, I'm 46 years old. I applaud you. Any part of the movement that y'all put out there I'm going to support as long as it's positive okay it has to be a positive message sometimes you have to have protein that comes from an animal but not the animal flesh or hurting the animal 
And the only safe protein that I've ever found was eggs. I personally don't eat them, but I know other vegans that under under the scope of everybody else knowing, they do eat them. Um, I live in a house of omnivores. Um, um, um. That's my husband, num num num. I don't dis I don't stop loving him because he eats animal flesh, but he res he respects me. Our first date, he knew at that point that I was a vegetarian. You know, and it was cool with him. I was, you know, he took me to KFC for all the places in the world to take a, a vegetarian girl. He takes me to KFC. But you know what? It wasn't about the food. It was about us. It was about us getting to know each other. And it, 26 years later, I think it worked out, don't you? Oh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Do you have a problem with me just being yeah, a veggie care. girl? Do whatever you want. <laughs> See? As long as it makes you happy and healthy, I don't care. See? And that's what I want to tell y'all. Whatever makes y'all healthy and happy, that's what we care about. Okay? So, Vegan Girl 29 here saying thank you, Nick Avocado, um, for keeping it real. And Fully Raw Christina, just keep giving the message, okay? Oh, and by the way, I tried the um, detox um, drink you make. Ooh. Everybody, y'all need to go to her channel and try that. That is freaking amazing. Thank you. Bye for now.